today we're going to start with a little video and then we're going to discuss the video and then I've got something so special and a big surprise and I can't wait to share it with you. So let's get comfortable. Let's sit all comfy. Let's quickly get, um, let's do our grounding. So sit flat, feet on the floor. Or if you're sitting on a chair and you're sitting back, just cross your legs, just sit comfy. Okay, hands in your laps, but open on your, on your laps like this. Okay, we're gonna do a deep breath in. We're gonna go, hold for five, one, two, three, four, five, and out as far as you can go. And another deep breath in. Hold for one, two, three, four, five, and out as far as you can go. <sighs> further, 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 all your ear out your lungs, every single ounce of it. And last one in. Deep breath in. And hold for one, two, three, four, five. And now you're gonna get every ounce of air out your lungs. Go. <sighs> Miss Vesta, yes. joining the lesson. <laughs> okay, but Nick, you can only join if you can answer the questions. <laughs> and Alan's joining. Oh, they're going to be my star <laughs> students today. <laughs> she doesn't like the Zoom call. She's scared of it. Yeah, the first week and last. <laughs> it took her a little bit of time to warm up. Now she feels comfortable. Now she wants to join. Tell her she's a little bit too late. <laughs> okay, guys. So I'm going to share my screen and we're going to watch a video. It's only five minutes long. And at the end of the video, I'm going to ask you some very, very important questions. Okay. So it's not like a cartoon video. It's actually a, a real child that's talking. Who are you? No, really. Who are you? What do you believe? What sets you off? What motivates you? What makes you feel the way you feel? And why do you feel like that? These are tough questions that we don't always have the answer for. But with a little self-awareness, we can get to know ourselves better and thrive at home, in school, and in life. Yeah, that's right, life! But what is self-awareness, you ask? Well, let's talk about that. I'm Elvis. This is Rocket Kids. Let's get this started. You might hear people talk about self-awareness as an important skill, but what exactly is self-awareness? Simply put, it's the ability to tune into your own feelings, thoughts, and actions. It's about recognizing that how you act and what you say affects yourself and others. It lets us know that we are good enough, have value in this world, and helps us achieve our goals I know, that's a lot to take in, but let me try to make it simple. Here's my five reasons why self-awareness is so important for all of us. Number one, we can self-reflect. When something bad happens, or something good, we can take a step back and really think about the situation. See what we did right, and see what we did wrong. We can see how we might handle that situation differently. Then, we can do more of what's right and less of what's wrong. So, think about it. Learn from it. Number two, recognize our strengths and weaknesses. What are you good at? And what are you not so good at? When we realize this, we can begin to achieve greater and greater things. We can focus on those things we excel at and get help with the things that we know we aren't so good at. It's how we can reach our goals. But here's the best part. When we know our capabilities and strengths, we have the confidence to leave our fear of falling behind and say hello to the confidence to go for it. Number three, manage our emotions. Understanding and recognizing your emotions is vital for your well being. They are your body's way of communicating with you about what is going on. For example, if you've been let down, you may experience anger, fear, sadness. So take notice. Because people who are good at noticing how they feel can calm themselves down or adjust their behavior, are more likely to do well in life, have healthy relationships, manage difficulties, make better decisions, and overcome setbacks. We can communicate how we feel in a way that others can understand. 
who doesn't want to be understood? Number four, we consider others. Once you are skilled at recognizing your own emotions, managing them, and communicating them, you can help others do the same. When we are really good at understanding how our feelings affect mood, performance, and communication, we will be able to tell when the people around us are feeling a little bit off, and we'll be able to respond in a way that is helpful, not hurtful. Be helpful, people. And number five, we can take criticism. In life, there's gonna be haters. We can't control what others think. That's just how it is. We ignore haters. But when people have constructive criticism about what we do, how we act, or what we say in certain situations, we should listen. Maybe we can gain a new perspective and open our eyes to things we overlooked or never considered. It's not always easy, but learning to receive feedback with an open mind helps us grow into better people. Becoming self-aware is not easy, and there is so much more to know. So practice understanding you, and you will learn to self-reflect, manage your emotions, know your strengths and weaknesses, consider others, and learn from feedback. So who are you? Hopefully, you're someone that smashes that subscribe button and likes our videos. <laughs> <laughs> that was a sneaky little in. <laughs> Okay, guys, that's quite a big word, self-awareness. Who can tell me what they think that word means, self-awareness? Yes, Fabian. Does it mean to be aware of yourself? Good girl. It's exactly what it means. And what three things can you remember? What three things can you be aware of about yourself? Hannah? So, what you can be aware of is that, so like when people are letting you down and you try and get up again. Good girl. So, if they let you down, that means that you've got a certain feeling. So, one of the things you need to be aware of are your feelings. Okay, what you're feeling, if you are very self aware, guys, it means you are aware of your feelings. That's number one. Caleb. You are aware of your attitude to others and yourself. Good boy. Wow. You're aware of how you are with yourself and others. And so that means your actions. Okay. So if you are treating yourself kindly and you are treating other people kindly, those are your actions. If you are being mean to other people and you are being ugly to yourself by saying, I should have tried harder, I didn't do my best, then that means that you, you're not using your actions very nicely. So we said aware of your feelings. We said you're aware of your actions. And there's one more. Something that goes on in here. We've discussed it before. I'll give you a clue. Yes, Hannah. Uh, aware of your... Are your thoughts? Yes. Good girl. Well done. Feelings, actions, and thoughts. Remember, I told you guys in a lesson before that if your thoughts are negative and only about bad things, how does that make your body feel? Emma? It makes our body um, the same feeling. For um, an example, we're doing work. And you're telling yourself in your head, oh, the word is too hard. I can't do it. I won't finish it in time. And that will really happen, whereas you can change your thoughts. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful, my Emma. So exactly that. Whatever your thoughts are is what's going to make your body feel good or bad. So if you have good thoughts, you feel good in your body. If you have bad thoughts, you have Feel bad in your body. Okay, now who can remember those three things? The three things that you need to be aware of. Caleb, you can give me one because we'll share out the answers. Give me one. Your actions. Good boy. Your actions, how you behave, that's self-awareness. What's another one? Okay, Emma. And then Amara. Uh, 
I wanted to say self-awareness, but I forgot to put my hand down. Oh, that's okay. So remember we said actions and there were two more. Amara, do you remember what one of the other two are? Good girl, unmute. Feelings. Good girl. Your feelings and your emotions. Yes, it's feelings is the same word as emotions. Hey, and Lily, can you remember the other one? No, but um, I feel good to make a diary for my home because I'm um, like a kind of animal diary because I can't bring my one from from school because if I br if I bring it to if I take it away from school I can't bring it back. Okay, so you made a plan. That mm -hmm. was very smart. Okay, Caleb. So we said actions, we said feelings, oh. and the last one thoughts. Oh. Guys, Fabian. Mahatsu, I need you to remember those three things. Feelings, thoughts, and actions. Everybody say that. Feelings, thoughts, and actions. Feelings, thoughts, and actions. You can unmute and say it all together. It can just sound like one big noise. One, two, three. Feelings, Feelings thoughts, and action. Okay, well done. Okay.